Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 3 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we'll be fitting some of the wireless kit to the cockpit. So without further ado let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. A dab of gunmetal paint from Tamiya inside the wireless then we can crack on. There we have the wireless and the battery painted. We can pop those over there to dry. Next up the aerial spool. Bit of a clean up so let's get that cracked shall we? That's the spool cleaned up. Now to drill the holes out and add some wire to it. So let's get cracking shall we? That's that sorted. Now time to move back to the wireless set. What yeah that was easy for me to say wireless set itself and add the glazing to it just like this that's the glazing glued in place and ready for priming now time for a bit of the old hairy stick we're painting the Morse key, battery box and other pieces desert yellow, that's Tamiya XA59, as a base for our wood effect. So let's get that done shall we? There we have those parts painted with the wood base colour. I used a wide flat brush for those and I put some brush strokes in hoping to emulate wood grain when we put the next layer of paint on. Up next we're painting the wireless set with Tamiya X14 Sky Blue. Thank you. 
As well as the wireless set, we also painted the control column with sky blue. Now to clean up the throttle assembly, so here we go with that. Then we have one throttle assembly cleaned up, ready for fitting. Now to get the cockpit side ready for the throttle assembly and get it fitted. There we have the throttle body fitted, so that means it's time to clean up the outside of the other cockpit side while that dries. So. Let's crack on with it. There we have the outside of the cockpit cleaned up. Once this is sprayed, you won't see a thing. Next up, we have a bit of hairy stick. I'm using Vallejo Metallic 71.067 Bright Brass to do all the fittings for the wireless set. Here we go with that. There we have all the brassage painted. Now to move on to the dark iron from Tamiya XF84. Let's get it done. Dark iron done. As the wireless set sky blue has dried, we can paint its base. Again, we're using Tamiya Desert Yellow XF59 as a wood colour. Well, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now for a second layer of brass to all the wireless fittings. Mm -hmm. 
That's the second coat of brass done. Now on to making wood grain on the wooden parts in the cockpit. I use Vallejo 70.828 wood grain transparent. My favourite. I love this colour for my wooden leather. Much easier and quicker than any other method I've tried, especially oils. This is awesome. I thought I'd better explain what I do. I used a splayed stiff brush. We drag it in the direction we want the wood grain to go and occasionally give it a wiggle trying to emulate the wood grain. Oi, bring that back. Show and tell, show and tell, come on. Nice. And now for the rest of the cockpit fittings. That's those pieces done. We'll pop them over there to dry. Next up is spraying the linen colour on the inside of the cockpit. We've plumbed for Citadel's Wraithbone colour. So let's get that mixed up and in the airbrush and get the inside sprayed. That's done. I did a couple of thin layers just to build up the colour and it's looking pretty good. Let's have a quick dry fit to see what it looks like. Not too shabby at all. It's coming along quite nicely. Well, for me anyway. Back to the wood grain. We're doing all the internal struts in the cockpit now, so let's get on with that. There we go, 
that's all the internal wood done. Now for the rest of the parts within the cockpit. So rigging lines, throttle body, etc, etc. Let's get on with those. In that last little section I glued the gauge for the wireless set to the instrument panel. I've got to say the cockpit is coming along really nicely. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 3. If you want to see what happens in episode 4 then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.